All right, guys, this is not a step-by-step -step video. This is warranty work, because the guy that I hired, when you put this tensioner in and you pop it, he felt the chain was too loose. So he took a pry bar and pried the tensioner and that. Well, what that did, it broke the tensioner allowed the timing to become <coughs> half a gear off. It's all we're off, nine degrees. But it was enough to keep their own coats. When you put this chain on and you pull that pin out of this tensioner, you're done. Put it together. When you start it, oil's going to pump in there and going to adjust it where it needs. So do not pry on the tensioner trying to take slack up in the chain. See, there's a little bit there, a little bit there. Once you start it, it will take the slack out of the chain. So, needless to say, between showing up late, not showing up, and then this, he's no longer with me. So, right here, there's the intake cam, exhaust cam. We have our cam plate in. If you look right in here, that's the t crank stop bolt, that little purple bolt. If you can see it, it's against the crank. The tensioner is popped now, the pin's out. So we are against the crank stop. <sighs> Sorry, been a long day, I'm moving slow. I've been going since eight this morning. And here, well, I guess if I get a light, otherwise you ain't going to see nothing. This is a Ford 2.3. You have to buy the crank stop bolt, and you have to buy this little plate to lock your cams. She's locked in at top dead center. So as you see, these will slide just in and out. I'm making sure I leave them in there till we're done. There's a slot. He's in the... Crank, once you're at top dead center, you slide this. This is your cam lock. Don't do the timing on one of these without the cam lock. Do not do it without the crank lock. Stop, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. So, we're all in time. Now, it's just a matter of putting it all back together. So, like I said, Ford 2.3 VVT motor. All right, y'all have a good night.